This research looks at state aid to European airlines during the COVID-19 pandemic. Are you ready? Let's go. COVID-19 produced a shock to the airline industry that can only be compared to the Second World War. This produced that airlines around the world have often to receive state aid in order to survive. The scope of this research is the state aid within the EU. In particular, all the state aid that has been approved by the European Commission, the Competition Authority. Within that scope, the article has three objectives. First is to look at the assessment of a state aid. The second is to look at the EU Airlines uh, 2019 profit to see whether there is a correlation between the profitability of net of 2019 and the COVID state aid received. And third is to analyze if the airline level playing field could be reoriented in the future. The methodology used for this research was a case study and it uses three main sources of data. First and most important were all the state aid decisions during 18 months period from the European Commission's the competition department. Second, country's population from the World Bank. And third, airlines, passenger numbers and profitability from annual reports and websites. The results indicate that 31 billion euros were given as a state aid during those 18 months. And the main two areas were recapitalization with 41% and warranty on loan with 46%. If we look at those countries helping airlines with the state aid, on average, 87 euros per capita were given in those countries. And the greatest efforts were uh, found in the largest European countries, France and Germany, as well as a group of countries in Northern Europe. When we look at airlines, on average, they receive 36% of the revenue generated in 2019 before the pandemic. The airlines receiving the largest average tend to be those in which the government holds some shares in those airlines. When we look at airlines profitability in 2019, we see that those airlines who receive state aid tend to have a lower profit margins than those others that didn't receive state aid. Three main conclusions can be extracted from this research. First is that the largest uh, European economies, Germany and France, together with some of the Northern European countries, have been the ones providing biggest effort in a state aid to airlines. Second, it seems to be a clear correlation between the profitability before the pandemic and the need for uh, state aid during the pandemic. And when we come to the third point, which is the airline level playing field, we have observed that some airlines have increased the participation from governments in the share as shareholders. One clear example is the uh, Air France KLM group. Thank you very much for listening. And if you are still interested, feel free to get the paper, full paper, which is in an open format.